Hello Aquarius. Hi. How are you my friends? Well, I'm going to go in and take a look at what's going on for my aquas. Hello, hello. Happy 4th of July Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look. We're thanking the Holy Spirit for being with us and guiding our, our reading into your love life. What is it that Aquarius does not see at this time? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel or coming in. If you're in for the first time, welcome. Thank you. I hope you uh, get something out of the reading. These are a general collective readings, and I really don't know, you know, if we're going to tap into your exact energy field, but these are energy readings. So let's see what we get. Whoa, excuse me. All right. All right, bear with me just one moment. So the theme of our message is going to be walking away from something. Someone has been thinking about this for some time. This is the moon. This is the dream state. This is the illusion. I cannot stay in a state of illusion. I will not stay in a state of illusion. Someone's in the middle of something, about to get out, breakthrough, have a breakthrough. So, uh, Aquarius, someone rising Venus north out. Thank you so much. Here we go, loves. There's somebody in your world that's burdened you. It's like, oh my God, I'm at the end of my rope with this mess. Why are they keeping a low profile? What are they hiding from me? Huh. I'm going to give it to you the way I get. These are big numbers. Aquarius, someone rising Venus. Know this, my, my Reiki prayer protection is the light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. And the presence of God watches over you. Where you are, God is. All right, so take that any way you wish. Let's see how God shows up for you. Shows up for you by giving you a new start. Look at that. Nine of Cups. Leaving something uncomfortable, unpleasant, and uh, sneaky for something a lot more upfront, up, up available, present, and a brand new start. So this could be a masculine. These are not gender specific. They are energy readings for you. What shows up? What is this new start for Aquas? It's about time leaving a, fo leaving a fox and a sneaky one who's always got something behind their back hidden and doesn't want you to see their, their, what they're doing to go right straight to someone who's above board, obvious, has integrity, strong, um, can carry you instead of you carrying them. And that's a good start. Seeing the messages are coming in. So you will be getting this information download. This looks like someone's going to, you're going to get reward or you're going to get something for what you put into something. That's good news coming. That's seven of pentacles. That's uh, something you're building, something you've been working on. Maybe it's money coming in from a bank. Maybe it's something coming in, a message coming in from a, a masculine, perhaps. I don't know. Tell me what else is going on here. Yeah, somebody closing a chapter once and for all. Absolutely sick and tired of this chapter of disappointment, feeling like everything is down and nothing's growing. So something has ended. It's the end, end, end of something and the beginning, beginning, beginning of something new, my loves. What is it? Divine Feminine. A new offer is coming and it's very secure. It feels very secure. Uh, this is someone who's already tapped into the surplus of the Holy Spirit and God and the planet and growth and manifesting. She's already, she's the offer. So somebody's getting this beautiful offer. Um, and it could be a soulmate. This could be someone that's going to help you walk your path. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is where you get a new start and you have to make a choice and it feels like it'll be an uphill climb, but it won't be. You're putting down the burdens. This came out in reverse. So finally getting rid of the burdens, finally getting through the past, getting through all the losses, having to protect your energy, protect everything you work so hard for, having to get exactly what you need to move forward. You will be getting exactly what you need. God says my grace is sufficient for you because you're heading right into some compatibility with someone and love. What else do we show? 
for my beautiful aquas at this time. Aquarius, what's going on? Sitting in, their, sitting in your space thinking. Someone is thinking about you. They have your best interests in mind. It could be someone on the other side. It could be angelics. It could be someone guiding you. But here is the thinker. I think I'm going to help them out. As long as you go by the book, you will be, you'll be uh, able to do this very easily, whatever this is. Doing things by the book. Master number 11, master number 22. Ending this unfinished symphony finally once and for all. Moving forward, that could be anything. That could be someone that's the same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. About time for a change, right? Truth be told. So if someone's job here is to tell the truth about how they really feel, open up, someone reveal their mask and, and expose them, you have a soulmate here. Now this may be a soulmate that's going to... Um, what is this unfinished symphony? Finally getting blessed so that number 22, master number 22, finally getting blessed so that you can move forward. Um, won't let me put any more cards in there. What else for my Aquarians? Treasure Island, taking what you need, you will be getting a reward and you will feel the reward in your life. Because someone is between worlds right now. They're just moving from one dark spot to another. At the fork in the road trying to decide which way to go. Is that you or is that them? Because something you believed in or something they believed in was false. All that glitter is not gold. They can make all the promises in the world. But if it doesn't show up as real life incidents for you, then it's an epic fail. And you need a leg up. Someone's been crying and unhappy and, and going to God and their higher power asking, listen, this is not my imagination. This is a never-ending story, and I want it to end. I'm ready for serendipity. I'm ready for magic. I'm ready for this beautiful love to find me. In the meantime, until I hear from you, God, I'm going to take a break and not worry about it. I'm waiting for your message in a bottle. while you cleaned it up for me, God, because I'm flexible and I only want things to be fair. I only want this one person. I have a deep knowing that I can co-create with someone and there's a change in the wind. Absolutely, a change in the wind. All right, Aquas, thank you so much. Let's see. Let's take a look at the energies of who this might be. Aquarius, someone rising Venus. Wow, who is this person? Let's find out. Spirit, thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Holy Spirit, utilizing the energies of air, fire, water, earth, ether, calling on your ancestors, calling on my ancestors, holy, holy beings of reverence for life and connections. Archangel Samuel, the angel of relationships. Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing thyself and being a healer. Archangel Michael, the, the angel that helps cut cords, cut off negative thinking. Block people from your energy, protect you from demonic forces, and help you to change your mental perspective. Archangel Uriel, come in and make our, come in and fortify the mindset and the, the pathway for the Aquarius. Fortify their faith and help them to have, to be able to be, succeed and to overcome and be happy. Archangel Metatron, tap into the higher spiritual realms of our Aquarians at this time so that they can make a proper decision. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, walking away. First card, Five of Swords. Okay, so this person was bringing you into this state of mind all the time, had making you feel competitive or like you're never going to understand something or understand them. Maybe they didn't want to understand you and didn't want to work on the relationship. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, and it caused a repressed tower moment. And the Ten of Swords. There's the Ten of Swords, right? And the Ten of Wands. So this could be a water sign um, that caused you a problem. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Repressed emotions, repressed mental status. It's like they double talk to you a lot. They didn't want to work on the relationship. That's for some of you. All right. Anybody else showing up for my Aquarius reading? Who is showing up? 
Thank you for liking the video. I appreciate that. It keeps my channel alive. We have a Aries Leo Sagittarius coming forward with a message. Okay. We have the moon, which is cancer. We're in cancer season. That could be a cancer right there. We have the Six of Wands, and this person intends to get victory with you. They don't like to mince words. They're not playing around. They only want to get right down to it and get a victory with you. Judgment. This relationship is a revival for you in some way or another. It's a huge revival for you. This offer, a relationship, Six of Cups. So this is something from your past that may be coming up, uh, someone that you've known. That could be the truth, Holy Spirit says. That could be someone coming coming to you to tell you the truth finally, to bring you what you deserve, Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, to bring you this love offer. They're making that offer and maybe a job. They've been watching you for a long time and they've been called judgment. Or it might be somebody you've been watching. Judgment on the devil. Rebuking the devil from the past. Getting cutting cords. And making connections with solid grounded people. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. The chariot card moving forward towards the Ten of Cups for a really, really happy relationship. And the Two of Wands is here to tell me that they're making a choice and a decision right now. They've been watching you. Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you that. What are the love messages here? If you'd like your own, have your own private reading, you can go to my website or my Etsy shop. There are religious factors involved in what's happening for you. And you have true love here. But you're in the process of loving yourself first and trusting and staying optimistic about your love life. But this love is very attractive to you. They might be someone from your past life. True love has to do with um, your finances and career are absolutely involved in this reading. And let's see what we have from the word for those who like that. Let us, un let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10, 23. The Apostle Paul. So loves, this is what I have for you. Don't forget to go to my website or my Etsy shop and get your hands on the Triple Threat Premier Sacred Set. It comes with prayers and mantras to help knock out all this negativity, attachments, negative attachments, to reset your attraction vibe, to seek abundance, to speak it into your life. Um, all of my sprays are just beautiful. They're beautiful. This is clear negative energy. It comes with crystal. This is Attract Love and Abundance, and this is Sacred Holy Mist. Very special, all Reiki empowered. When you use them and you speak the mantras that come with them and the blessings and prayers, watch what happens. Action. Things change and calm down for you and start to get you lined up. It's all about sacred self, right? All right. I love you very much. Thank you so much, my aquas. Let me know if I can help you. Please like, subscribe, share, join me on Patreon for free readings. I love you. Namaste.